Leo Moon. Moon in the fifth house. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm joking. Hi, how's it going? How are you doing? Beautiful, beautiful Leo Moon. Oh, what does it mean, Leo Moon? Well, you are very talented at something. Uh, that's what. Most likely might uh, be conscious, might be not conscious, but you've got a talent. And you've got something that is perhaps very small or very big, but whatever you hold within is very special, very potent, very potent with energy. There's a lot of frequency of you in the air around everyone who knows you. Like people just know and feel you. They can just sense you, they can sense you screaming or crying, they can sense you laughing or enjoying. There is something within you that is graspable only within the night time, but sometimes people will not be able to stop thinking about you or stop laughing with you or at you, but there will be something within you that possesses other people to speak about you or on your behalf, and there will be likely somebody or something that will um, be in a great joy with you in the bedroom or in a really good connection with you in spirit, but at the same time all these people and all these connections don't mean a thing if you can't know yourself, know thyself, Leo, Moon, Fifth House, Moon. What do I mean? Okay, because this person that you are tends to be physically, uh, physiologically above average. There is something that is very strong, there's something that is very um, greedy for more, greedy for fame, greedy for life. Because there is like a greedy inner void, things accumulate. So wait, wait, and uh, you know, scenario with different bodybuilding things, you know, like you will most likely build a body, you will most likely look for in the mate, if you're a man, somebody with a very formidable build 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 uh, because um, Scorpio rules the moon and me <laughs> I can see that um, because I got Pluto in my frequency because Scorpio is ruled by Pluto I can see you very clearly um, because Leo is ruled by Pluto as well and by the moon here uh, this energy suggests to me that whatever you do with your body is very clearly out of respect for you within the parameters of physicality but it doesn't really need to be like you don't need to give it or take it you know you don't need to balance it or take from it uh, without measure because what happens is that this person that you are becoming over time through your fashion through the different windings and unwindings of your energetic and emotional bodies becomes somebody big and rich of course like through body but doesn't really understand what it is to be embodied yet. So the accumulation of weight, the accumulation of wealth is quite needy and quite um, susceptible to change here. Like uh, the physical reality changes around you a lot. But what is inside? You know, what is inside and inside the bones, inside the blood? You know, what is really um, that which you build from? You know, that can sometimes be optimistically seen as fine but it's not why for example you could be somebody who scoffs down pasta like glutinous pasta and like milk you know and eggs every day and then you can grow really great muscles but then what's inside what's inside your actual bones what's inside your bloodstream what is that gluten doing to your body like you don't really wonder because if it feels good and it looks relatively great then you're fine with that. And sometimes it can mean that you can create a whole barrel of different mistakes on top of each other just to make sure that things are fine. So this moon is very good at creating enemies as well as friends and friends too, just out of the need to accumulate some type of experience without really thinking things over or mulling things down in your mind. So perhaps you're somebody who likes to get drunk on the weekend. Perhaps this moon enjoys to party too much and I'll tell you what it is it's basically this person needing to release to release a lot and soon and quick and this can be in a very pent-up sexual energy that is not even about sex at all it's just about being that shiny guy or girl sometimes this person can even put a mirror um, behind their bed so they can uh, see themselves while they're having a sexual experience just to feel what it's like to be that person that they're looking at without really perceiving the feeling firsthand. Um, there is a great need to be sort of like um, 
insufficient insufficient with things that are physical and optimum so for example you can be like okay i ran a marathon i smashed an omelet with five eggs in it you know i had a steak um like i had some torturous uh exercise regime you know and then i came home and i fell down and felt so good so good and then i'm going to go out later on i'm going to get so wasted you know um there will be something in you that will want to push on through even if it doesn't feel good to you and sometimes this is a very formidable placing for an athlete or some kind of a i want to say beginner runner or like a beginner anything if you are at the beginning level a beginner of something it will be very fine for you indeed to be this excellent professional athlete you know at the age of freaking four you know what i mean like if you are in the beginning phases of an environment you will likely take it by storm really quickly uh, because you know this energy rules the fifth house of children anything new you know like kids young people and things like that but if you've been sticking around somewhere for a long time and you don't know who you are you don't know where you've been or you don't know why you're here it is most likely not good to keep on going just because you can or you think that you've started in this way and you've got to keep on doing it because this um, moon placement is not very good for stale things because the body tends to accumulate and accommodate for stagnancy like no other form so for example if you've been a bodybuilder for six years you keep on accumulating 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 and you're bored of it and year five you know you haven't competed in a while but you're still doing this and you're still like lifting yeah 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 i'll do the weights now yeah that's right the other hand yeah, yeah let's do it come on guys let's go smash some eggs and steak um, and you keep on doing it, there is like an unconscious part of you that's sort of like asleep when you're doing it. And that means that you can accumulate a lot of tension in your fascia to the point where you can't unwind it anymore. So there can be like a stiffness, you know, like those bodybuilders that are like a brick and they walk around like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this under control. Yeah, everything's fine. I'm an athlete. You know, what? Like, how can you be an athlete if you can't move your body properly? Like, if you can't completely recognize every single muscle group and be like a master of your form, like knowing say there is stiffness in my knee there's stiffness in my neck you know i should move it more i should do something different i should try another sport or i should try another person you know as a spouse i should not like hold so much tension and so much anger in my body but that's what they do like sometimes letting go is very hard for these people and that's how they do they will do an extreme thing like they'll lift a lot of weight they'll do a lot of exercise they'll do a lot of running they'll do a lot of polarized activity because they might say sleep in all day then party all night, then smash it at the gym half drunk the next morning, you know, like they might do these things just to basically recognize themselves as the best, as the one or that guy or, you know, that guy who does that, you know, wow, you ever seen the guy who did that? Oh my God, like, or she got so drunk that night or she was so wasted, but then she made it home and she didn't miss out you know on school the next day like there'll be something in you that will feel almost ridiculed if you don't commit that weird um atrocity to your body and then make it better the next day and everybody will, will, will see how shiny and free you are anyway like there's almost like a need to transcend transcend relativity you know people are like okay 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 oh yeah, I should make an appointment with you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. But then I've got all these different things to do. No, 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 no. I'm over encumbered. No, I can't. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Can we do it for another? Can we leave it for another week? Like, no, like Leo Moon and any kind of like actual fire sign type Moon. Moon in the first house in Aries. You know, Moon in the third. Oh, uh, no, sorry, third house. Moon in the ninth house in Sagittarius to a lesser degree. But like um, fire signs, they tend to sort of go on and on and on and on and on feeling if I can't do it, I'm nothing, or like, I have to be that guy or that girl that does it, and I have to be it, you know, be it. Um, and then sometimes they don't notice when the, the dimension has shifted. Like, Aries can feel the time. The first house moon and Aries moon, they can kind of feel with the time. They know when to kind of give up. Sometimes they don't know, but they can change and shift quite uh, away, away. Like, they've noticed, they feel they've been betrayed, they feel that they've gone through a different portal, they shouldn't have been there. They'll go backwards if they have to, but Leo and Moon will not go backwards. Like they just will not. Like say they've been pursuing this dream. Say uh, they're 40 or 50 now and they're still rocking. For example, rock and roll music, yeah? 
So like they've been a rocker through their 20s, through their 30s, you know, been kind of like a bit shady then. And then by their 40s, 50s, they're kind of like, I don't care, I'm still doing it. You know, but perhaps their body cannot handle, you know, the sex, drugs and rock and roll lifestyle. Maybe they want to surrender. Maybe they want to find a little bit of peace. Maybe they want to be a political representative now. Maybe they want to do something completely different. No, 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 stuff it, stuff it. I'll do it, I'll do it. So you guys want me to perform? I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there on time and I'll do it right. And they always do. Like they do it to a degree always correct. They're pretty good with their hands or their speech or whatever the talent is within them that is hidden or maybe not so hidden anymore. But they really do develop it and they really do get it ahead. But then they've got to realize what their body needs. Because there comes a time when their body's like, dude, okay, we've done this a million times. Can we like not just go and sit for a while and then maybe see what happens? Hey, why not open a book on that page? Yeah, and their body gives them clues really subtly. Synchronicity knocking. Yeah, open the book on that page. See what it says. Humility. Yeah, like fun and adventure. Hey, why not go on a little bit of a trip? Let's go to the forest. Okay, because the body might want something totally different. And this is for all fire signs. You know, the uh, angry energy of the moon, even Scorpio moon. I've got Scorpio moon in the first house. Any kind of an intense, like fiery sign. Um, that is the moon for you. Uh, it will be a very slow process of envy and completion and competition for a long time until you can feel like oh my body doesn't care for this and then you go sometimes you gotta like go well i got crook knees i can't do that sport anymore you know and sometimes you, you'll as a fifth house leo moon you'll tend to fixate on that oh i got crook knees now that's why i can't well perhaps your knees don't need to be crook. Maybe what's going on is a need of a change in your life, like a change of vacation, change of a um, different, maybe even persona. But sometimes with Leo Moon, they will keep on going through and through and through to a degree where they can't even know themselves. And sometimes the purpose or the place of work or the place of inspiration or that lover becomes the number one priority to such an extent where they don't see the outcome of anything. They just keep on going. They get the tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. Okay. I'm a performer. I'm a performer. I'm a performer. Oh my God. There's nothing else out there, you know? Or like, for example, my kid. My kid is number one. My kid is number one. And they keep on going in a circle, in a circle. And this is very good for any kind of big shifters. Political leaders, okay, uh, all have a degree of Leo in them, at least somewhere on the chart. Even if it's in a small, like, dwarf planet or asteroid, there has to be a bit of Leo in there. That's for sure. So if you've got like, say, a political interest and you're like green peas, green peas, green peas, green peas, and you're going around the circle, that's fine, but just like slow down. So for example, if you've got like a lot of frequency towards a political party or political agenda, and if you cannot connect or you cannot pretend to be weak, like you cannot feel weakness, you cannot feel the tears coming on, you cannot feel that your body is tired and exhausted, um, sometimes you just got to keep on doing it obsessively think 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 then watch yourself go around in a circle and just burn your circuits out and sometimes if you can talk it out that's wonderful if you can balance it out balance it out but then you have to collapse there has to be a time when you have to collapse and just to cry or to need or plead i'm so sorry please forgive me something has to be where there is a contrast because if you keep on going the same field if you keep on going like a mouse you know like a mouse in one of those wheels uh, it's a very hard job to stop and then life comes to an end in a very strange way because if you can't stop occasionally for a set amount of time you can't just pass out there's a problem for example i've got first house moon and scorpio and i've got some of that um you know fire energy as well and i've got air energy as well in my uh, chart as I, I've got Libra Sun, you know, like, and sometimes things go in the circle too for me, you know, sometimes I can't stop channeling and things like that, but then I gotta pass out and I gotta forget the world, I gotta close the curtains down, and I gotta have two, three days of absolute silence just to bounce back, okay? So don't think you're being weak, just think you are conserving your energy for the next big break. Anyway, thank you very much, Leo, Leo Moon. 
and fifth house moon and i hope everything works out for you and if it don't make sense yet please get in touch with me especially if you are by your 30th year and you're still wondering who you are um tell me what you feel we'll have a skype session we'll get it all together we'll figure it all out we'll have it on paper everything's fine if you are wondering about what i do i'll probably post a video soon on my website explaining exactly what i do for a job um if you don't want to that's fine leave a comment below um so yes i look forward to hearing from you soon thanks a lot